All right, let's go ahead and get started. I want to welcome you to this laboratory. This is Calorimetry Laboratory Calculations. This, la this worksheet is to be done together with the laboratory on calorimetry that you have either already done or will be soon doing. So let's talk a little bit about what a calorimeter is. A calorimeter is a device that measures the transfer of heat. Now there's a very important principle of chemistry called the first law of thermodynamics that says that en energy can't be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred from one entity to, entity to another. So we want to remember that heat is always transferred from warm or hot to cool or cold, right? So in the calorimeter, what often will happen is that we will place some object into the calorimeter and the heat will be transferred either from the metal, maybe it's a metal to the water or vice versa. The important point is we're going to be able to tell that difference in temperature through with a thermometer. So let's take a look at this problem uh, to begin with. It says that 175 gram sample of metal at 93.5 gram uh, Celsius degrees was added to 105 grams of water at 23.5 degrees Celsius in a perfectly insulated container. So let's picture what we've got here. We've got this sample of metal that's warmer than the water that surrounds it, right? Only 105 grams of water, but that water is cooler than the metal that was placed into it. That means that heat is going to be transferred from the metal to the water. So let's keep that in mind. The final temperature of the water and the metal was 33.8 degrees Celsius. That means that the metal must have cooled down. It went from 93.5 to 33.8, and the water must have heated up. It went from 23.5 to 33.8. Calculate the specific heat of the metal in joules per gram per degree Celsius. So let's start with the basic principle, that first law of thermodynamics that I talked about. And that is matter, or energy rather, can't be created, it can't be destroyed, it can only be transferred. So we're going to start with this right here. The heat lost by the metal, that was originally warm or hot, must be gained by the water, right? Heat lost by the metal is gained by the water. Now remember that heat lost or gained uh, can be calculated using this formula. We said that Q is equal to MC, you can put a subscript P there if you'd like, times delta T, the change in temperature. So with this in mind, with this calculation or this uh, formula in mind, let's go about finding the heat lost by the metal. So the mass of the metal times specific heat of the metal times, the, that's what we're looking for, by the way, times the temperature change of the metal is equal to the mass of the water times the specific heat of the water times the change in water's temperature. So again, the heat lost by the metal is equal to the heat gained by the water. So now let's put some numbers in. The, ma the mass of the metal is 175 grams times its specific heat, that's what we're looking for, times the difference in temperature. The metal went from 93.5 degrees Celsius to 33.8 degrees Celsius. Uh, it was cooled, right? The metal was originally warmer, and then it cooled in this cooler water, right? So this is the change in temperature. Now let's calculate the amount of heat gained by the water. We had 105 grams of water times 4.184 joules per gram per degree Celsius. That's the specific heat of water. I'll give that to you, by the way. Times the change in temperature of the water was, it was 33.8 minus 23.5. So remember the water initially was 23.5 degrees Celsius, but it eventually, eventually both the metal and the water ended up at 33.8 degrees Celsius. So now let's kind of simplify things. 175 grams times specific heat of the metal times 59.7, that's the difference between these two, 93.5 and 33.8, is equal to 105 times the specific heat of the metal times uh, the change in temperature of the, excuse me, the specific heat of the water times the change in temperature of the water. So now we're going to do a little algebra. We're going to calculate the specific heat of the metal. So we'll take 105 times 4.184 times 10.3, and we'll divide it by 175 and divide it again by 59.7. When we do that, we get 0 0.4331 joules per gram per degree Celsius. That's the unit for specific heat. We'll do a little rounding here. We get times 0.43 joules per gram per degree Celsius, and that will do it for the sample problem. I have three problems that I want you to work on. I want you to do these on a separate piece of paper because you, just, you probably will not have room on this sheet. 
and you must use the system that I've shown you before. The first law of thermodynamics, the heat lost by one object must be gained by the other. I want you to show all your calculations, label, round the two decimal places, and, and box your final answer for me if you would. And um, that should do it. Thanks. Bye-bye.